Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! So here is this defensively gifted fighter. It certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man. And even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jump. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. Exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, always ready to engage. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. We said it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee Herb Ready. Dean will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. Go ahead. All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight to end the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look. The best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor has the name of the Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Oh, the kick landed. Oh, and he caught the kick. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent's getting the beat on his leg kicks, He'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yes. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, nice. Nice. Wow. Oh, 
clipped him with a right hand there. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Keep your head in it. Keep your head in it. Good jab. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Goes that deep and it lands. Just over two minutes to go. Just missed with the left there. Lands the kick to the body there. Let's go. Set up that takedown. It's work, guys. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Yeah, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Lands a jab. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh! Huge left! <laughs> Unable to connect there. Going for the body, missed with that kick. Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Hands up. There's that left hand. Oh! All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Back and forth we go. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Locked in. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Lands the lead right punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice shot. Lands downstairs. So a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going, but now we'll see. Oh, oh you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, my goodness. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Good straight hand there by Lee. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike.
Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Big shot lamps for both guys. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Nice straight right lance. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Nice. Under three minutes now to go in the round. That was a tremendous high kick. Finish with the kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start that up. Trouble. He's hurt bad. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process. Now the man has his chin been tested early. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Sidekick. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Oh, nice. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Nice hook there by Lee. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Oh! This is big. That's big. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Huge head kick lands. Another one lands right on the side of his head. Big shot to the head. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so... Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to have too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he left him! Oh, my goodness. Right. And what a round! All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Nice block. Hey, take your face. Take your face. Hands up. 
Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game. Heavy kick downstairs. Oh, not the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done it. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Game of inches right there, boy. It was a good night if that landed. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on you. Oh, great block there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, you can play a picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Nice jab. Lance a good series of kicks here. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice body kick. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Three, two, three. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top.
now that he's got us he's got him set up the way he wants it. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minutes. They got checked. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he has a huge shot, finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Right hand and a left. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Came with inches of right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Punishing kick there. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked by the Anderson Silva situation. Nice straight left there. Oh, big right hand, yes. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. That is such a tough one to even be on his feet right now. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Just over two minutes to go in the round. He throws all of himself into that kick. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Back and forth we go. Oh, misses with the jet. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Lee's forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice punch there by Lee. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. 45 seconds remain in the round. Big shot to the body. Oh, man. That cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy figures to be busy between fights. He's going to be very busy. Oh, oh he's hurt. 30 seconds. 30. Oh, he landed a near perfect knee strike there. Unable to connect with a right hook. Final seconds. Beautiful body kick. 
Right. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and his nose is severely cut up right now. This fight could end at any moment. There's a lot of blood. You can't go much longer with a cut like this. We need a finish. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Nice block. Let him go. Time to let go. Oh. Lovely shot there, DC. He is officially running. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. He's cut. Get the elbow. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a referee call in a doctor for bodily damage, but I'm not sure how many more of these shots he should take, DC. He can't take many more shots. I mean, he is going to go down if he takes one or two more of these body shots. He has been thoroughly beaten to the body this fight. He checked that last one. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? More aggressive with your Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you got to call in the ringside physician. It's hard to watch. John, like, that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. It's disgusting. It's like Overeem's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damaged. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least if you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance try to find your shot. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Beautiful leg kick lands. Oh, nice little right hook there. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel oh. Fourier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. It is hard to hear ourselves on the headsets. This place is going crazy after one of the best fights of the year. Both men put it all on the line. Just really a sight to behold from minute one of this fight. Well, they told us. They both told us. Strap in. This is going to be one of the best fights you've ever seen, and boy, has it delivered. We have seen blood. We have seen heart. We have seen spirit. We have seen these two lay it on the line against each other. But hey, it takes two to tango. We had the two right guys in the octagon tonight to produce the instant classic. 
just out of range with the straight left hand. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Good punch. 20 seconds to go in the fight. This work. Oh, lead hook by Lee. Final 10 seconds of the fight. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often.